Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I'm thrilled to announce that Reason 10.2 has been announced. Now, uh, it's the end of August right now, August 24th. They announced this just yesterday, and um, I believe it will be released on September 26th, so that's about a month from now. If you want to join the beta, you're absolutely able to do that. Go to propellerheads.se uh, slash blog, and you'll see some information on that. Um, I'm planning on joining the beta, um, and I'll give you the type of updates that I feel comfortable giving. There's a non-disclosure agreement, so I can't really describe too much, um, but just the overall vibe and feel. So let's just quickly cover what's going to be added in Reason 10.2. Now, this is sort of the update everybody's been looking for for a long time. These are some simple but much needed updates to the user interface to make Reason a more modern type of DAW. So the first one is that you're going to be able to m edit multiple lanes of MIDI in one screen. So let's say you're arranging like strings, for example, and you've split the bass on, you know, the, you're playing a C chord. The bass is playing a C, the cello is playing an E, and the viola is playing a G. Well, normally, if you wanted to change something about that, you'd have to click on each individual MIDI lane to edit them individually. But now you can select all three lanes and, indi and simultaneously edit all the notes so that you can really get a better sense of where the chords are, if you want to invert something, where the viola and the cello switch, whatever. This is the way most modern DAWs are handling MIDI, and it is so much easier to be able to visualize layered parts together to see how they work and how they don't work. Um, so that's a huge step forward. The second thing, and this is so requested actually, um, I've made a couple of videos over the years actually about what's missing from Reason, and I'll put a link there, what I'd like to see changed, um, and it'll pop up right there. And this is probably the most requested feature, and that's the ability to adjust multiple faders on the mixer at the same time, right? Like, so let's say you had like four, you had your drum part, drum kit mixed, you know, you've got the kick, the snare, the hi-hats, the overheads, all of that, and you want to, they've got to balance amongst themselves, but you want to bring them all up or bring them all down. Now, you could always use a bus, but that's not always the best way to do it. And so now you're going to be able to highlight multiple channels or select multiple channels and simultaneously move their faders together. They'll maintain their rel relative position, uh, and they'll move up and down together, which is a huge, just time saver and a power, new power feature. The next feature they're adding is an adaptive grid. Basically, when you're doing MIDI data, um, if you select this option, instead of, you know, previously you would say, all right, I want to draw in a quarter note or I want to draw in an eighth note. But now, by default, what it will do will be to draw in a note that is the same length as your zoom uh, resolution. So if you're zoomed into quarter notes, then that's what it's going to draw. If you're zoomed into eighths, that's what it's going to draw. You can always override this, um, but this can really save a lot of time if you're doing detailed editing. You do the big parts, then you zoom in, you do the smaller parts. Um, this is something that Logic does really well, and I'm glad to see this coming to reason. The final uh, update is to um, allow you to add devices from the track sequencer window, which I think is really important. There's been a lot of disconnect between the sequencer and the racks. So it's just going to be cool to have more crosstalk between the two of them. Um, so I think actually what Reason has done here, what propeller heads have done here, is really smart to save the headline um, updates for the major revisions, 10.0, 9.0, and to do the user interface updates for the smaller versions. They got a lot of flack when they went from Reason 7 to Reason 8, even though Reason 8 is way better in terms of interface. And so I think this allows them to have big headline marketing type releases on the big numbers and little user interface programs, updates that happen all along. The other thing they announced in their email is that this update is not going to improve VST performance, but they have brought in a team to work on it that it is very intense because they have to go into their audio engine and do a lot of stuff, but that they hope to 
they plan to have an update by the end of the year. So what I think is cool about that, A, is that Reason, and specifically Matthias, is um, really going out of his way to communicate the roadmap, which I think all of us users can appreciate. Having an idea where things are going, especially with the VST support, which is so huge to so many people, um, that is great. The next uh, big thing is that I think probably what that means, in my mind, the way Reason existed was first as a purely MIDI thing. And then I think in Reason 5 or Reason 6, they introduced a separate project called Record, which dealt with audio. Reason only dealt with MIDI and Record dealt with audio. And I really think what Reason became once they integrated the two together was just a piece of software that was really well rewired together, audio and MIDI. I'm not an engineer. I don't have any real reason to believe this. But it would explain a lot of the weird inconsistencies between the sequencer and the rest of Reason. And hopefully if you're going in there and doing this deep dive on the audio engine, it means that a lot more subtle, deeper integrations and improvements are also going to be coming along. So uh, with this said, yes, I'm really looking forward to Reason 10.2. Uh, sign up for the beta if you guys want. It'll be out in a month. If you don't want to sign up for the beta, keep watching and be sure to like and subscribe for all the newest info on Reason. Thanks.